Hi, my name is Archie Dunlop and this is the first video of my new channel Talking Astrology with Archie. Now, I've been practicing astrology for a long time, something like 40 years, but I haven't done a YouTube astrology video for over 10 years, so I'm completely out of practice, assuming I was ever in practice. My style as an astrologer is pretty grim in some respects. I'm not into good news. I'm not into fuzzy spirituality. Um, as far as I'm concerned, life is grim. Um, we're born, we get old, we die, and it's very difficult to find meaning in life. You know, people try too hard to find meaning with astrology. I don't even know if there is any meaning. I think it may all be a waste of time, everything we're doing. You know, that's my view of the world. Um, so bear that in mind. And if you want fuzzy spirituality, this is not the place to find it. Absolutely not. There'll be other people who give you what you want and they'll have nicely presented videos um, and they'll tell you that everything is fine. Of course, everything is not fine, particularly now. We've just had the Celtic festival of Imbolc a few days ago, February the 1st. Imbolc is one of the Celtic quarter days, uh, very important in the Celtic calendar. Um, there are four of them. One on February the 1st, one on May the 1st, one on August the 1st, and another one on November the 1st. You know, the November the 1st one is, you know, very close to sort of Halloween, and it's got sort of um, magical connotations. Um, if you want to be dramatic, you might think about darkness and uh, demons and that kind of stuff. And... Maybe, again, if you have a dark view of the world, that these Celtic festivals may be, may be gateways. They may be gateways to the hordes of hell. Um, maybe. But there is a, you know, a slight problem with Celtic festivals. Um, you know, they are quarter days. They're supposed to be halfway between one thing and another thing. Um, halfway between the solstices and the equinoxes. Now this festival of, of Imbolc is six, seven weeks uh, after the um, winter solstice, around December the 21st, six, seven weeks before the spring equinox. So you know, we're halfway there, halfway between the shortest day of the year on in December and the day when night and day are equal at the end of March. So I would prefer it if we had something exact. So in bulk is February the 1st, not exact, a few days off. The exact moment is when the sun is it is at 15 degrees uh, 15 degrees Aquarius. That means it's 45 degrees after zero degrees Capricorn, 45 degrees before zero degrees Aries. Now this, uh, this moment when the sun was at 15 degrees Aquarius was on February the 4th, 2023. Uh, if you were in the UK, that would have happened at around, I believe, something like 2.45 in the morning. And to me, if the gates of hell really are open, it's that moment when the sun is at 15 degrees Aquarius, when the sun was at 15 degrees Aquarius. At that moment, uh, something comes into the earth, something comes into our mundane existence and it hangs around. Maybe it hangs around until the until the solstice in March the 21st. So what 
is hanging around well you look at the aspects and i've put up a chart and this chart is very basic it only has two bodies there you can see that there's the planet uranus in taurus and there's the sun in aquarius now the sun and uranus are exactly square and they are exactly square exactly 90 degrees and they were both at exactly 15 degrees of the sign so it's like the power of uranus and whatever it means has come into our consciousness in, and it's going to hang around it's going to hang around until the end of march so what is uranus uranus is a planet of earthquakes it's a planet of violence it's a planet of the unexpected it's a planet of revolutions and it's all here it's all coming in now at this stage you might say well i'm stating the obvious we know that we're in incredibly unstable times uh, everyone is everyone everything is boiling over we've got a war in the ukraine so to say that we're in uh, that things again you know we've got instability and violence and all this well that's stating the obvious isn't it well my reply to that is well it's just going to be even more so it's going to be even more um unexpected and crazy and violent than we than we originally expected um, and matters are not helped by the fact that on february the 5th right after um right after this the exact sun square with uranus we've got a full moon uh the full moon sun is at in around 16 aquarius moon is at around 16 leo and both those planets are square uranus so we've got another dose of uranus so this is gonna this is this really is um a difficult unstable time and you need to think you know think what do you expect to happen over the next six you know six weeks are we going to get any return to stability maybe maybe you think we, you know maybe you think we are maybe the politicians are claiming that things are going back to normal that inflation has been solved that the you know the war in ukraine is under control no no it's not under control um and there's likely to be another crisis there's likely to be more crises which were not anticipated um so i am not optimistic about the period between now and the end of march uh, just just don't expect things to get better uh, expect things to get worse i mean in this slide i should point out uranus is at 15 and taurus and so when was it last in 50 at 15 taurus well it did retro come it did it was at 15 taurus because of retrograde motion over the last year or so but before that the last time uranus was at 15 taurus was in march 1939 now march 1939 was when the nazis took over czechoslovakia uh, it was when there was a major battle in um in china the japanese were doing ghastly things in china uh so there's history on this um so it's it's going to be bad and so just prepare for that um it's going to be unstable so just don't you know don't make fixed plans and don't listen to the calming words of politicians because it's, it's just not going to get better so that's my message that's going to how i'm going how i'm going to end this video and just just bear in mind it is my first video and probably no one is going to be watching this except for me i'm probably just talking to myself but um, i'll carry on and um, hopefully i'll improve see you next time